Hey everybody, happy Friday afternoon. I hope you've had a great week. Um, it may say July on your calendar, but we are doing Halloween today. I know, it's early. I know, I know. I hear some of you, I see the complaints about the pumpkins at Hobby Lobby already, but you know what? I love Halloween, so I don't really care. <laughs> but honestly, this is an online exclusive, and we never know how long the online exclusives will be around. They might be around for a long time. They might be around for just a little while. They could sell out and not come back. So I feel like we better use it while we have it, right? Um, this is called Potions and Spells, and it is super, super adorable. Uh, we're gonna make three projects. Let me make sure I'm in the right place. We're gonna make three projects today. Halloween projects. And then I have two cards to show you as well. Have any of you gotten this? I've seen two of you order this in the last 24 hours from me. So I know you like it and I've seen some of you say you have it and you can't wait to use it. So I'm excited about it too. Um, I'm gonna run through, them through some things to tell you and then we'll get started stamping. Um, I want to remind you guys that time is running out for the subscription for the all-star um, video class tutorial bundle PDF. <laughs> it's so many words. Um, this is something we do every month, me and 11 other demonstrators. We get together and we all make a different project using the same products and then we film video tutorials um, and then our friend Bruno puts it all together in this beautiful PDF and uh, we all give it out free uh, with online purchases so if you order from me anything over $50 I'm going to email this to you for free um, but there's a lot of you out there who are demonstrators yourself or you have your own demonstrator so you're not going to shop with me but you still want the tutorials um, this is available always in my PDF store. I always load them up on the first of the month in my PDF store for $15. Um, but twice a year, we open up subscriptions. Um, and if you love to get PDF tutorials, that, that's really for you. Um, it is a six-month subscription. They're $15 a month, and you get the sixth month for free. So you pay for five, and you get six. You can either pay monthly, or you can pay all together at the beginning, which is nice because then it feels like you're just getting something each month for free, even though you paid for it. But you still will get that six month for free. This month we're doing the Full of Life, I know it's backwards, Full of Life suite from the um, annual catalog. And my um, tutorial this month is a gift box for stamp and blends. I thought that that beautiful paper uh, really lent itself to some art supplies. So if you're interested in this, you can go to my blog. I have um, a link to it at the bottom of today's blog post. And then if you scroll down on my blog, you'll also see um, at the bottom of each blog post, there's a thing, but you'll see it. You'll see it on my blog. It's like maybe the sixth thing, sixth or seventh thing uh, listed. Um, and you can click on it and find the subscription link. You can also read about uh, the details. And we had a blog hop last week. And so all of us posted a second project so that's really 24 ideas using the full of life suite from the annual catalog. So make sure you check it out. Okay, I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to flip you guys around because I'm going to show you some things. I feel like I'm not seeing any comments. Are you guys there? Is everybody there? Oh, there. Now I can see you on my iPad. Okay, you guys, my phone has been acting up. It's been shutting down every time I film a video. This week has been a mess filming videos. Um, luckily, I've been catching it, but a couple of times I filmed the video and didn't realize it shut off and had to refilm the video, which makes me so mad. So hopefully that's not gonna be a problem today um, during Facebook Live. I actually Googled it and it's a known problem with the new iPhone 15. So I'm like, come on guys, we pay so much for these stupid phones, they should work well, right? Okay, anyhow, let me remind you of some things. Bonus days right now, July. For every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon from Stampin' Up um, that you can spend in August. They are cumulative, so if you spend $100, you'll get two of them. That'll be $10 off that you can spend in August, and you can use them all at the same time, too. Don't you hate when you have coupons and they're like, limited one coupon per purchase? Ugh hate that. So that is not this. You can stack them and use them all in one purchase next month. Um, 
can you guys read this? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't expect you to read this, but this is the back to school tax holiday information. I posted today on my, on, um, on Facebook here, um, with the dates, hopefully it's right. You guys, I am notorious for typos. So if you see something, just please nicely let me know. Um, but there's a link to this PDF. Uh, let's see if I can read all the states. Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Massachusetts, Mississippi, Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, Puerto Rico, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, and West Virginia. You all have tax-free holidays, and um, they're all different dates. So you'll have to look at the list and they're not all exactly the same stuff that's included, but in general, what's included are adhesive markers, paper snips, which are cute little scissors and grid paper. Um, so I always buy all my adhesive in August for the year because I get to save that tax here. Tax is eight and a quarter. So, you know, it's a pretty significant savings. So I will be posting on Facebook to remind you the start of your tax holiday if you're in one of these states. Um, but I would set a reminder too on your own calendar if you're in one of these states so you don't forget. Okay, I'll update this video with a direct link to that when I'm done. Uh, next week is my BOGO sale. You guys, this is the biggest thing I do all year, the hardest thing that I do. I get every single bit of my retired product, pull it all out, we organize it, and we label it with prices, and then we photograph every individual product. Then I organize it in albums here on Facebook, and you can shop them, and they're all free with an equal purchase over of new product. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is the sale. So let's say you look at all of my albums and you pick out $150 of retired product that you want for free. You mark them all, and I'll give you all the details on this next week, but you'll mark them all that you want them. Then you go and spend $150 at stampinup.com and I get that $150 in retired product and I send it to you for free. You pay the shipping on it, but other than that, it's free. So you're getting double the amount of product for the price of one. Um, you'll also, as someone reminded us last week, you'll also get bonus days coupons from Stampin' Up and you'll earn that all-star tutorial PDF from me if you spend over $50. So it's a big deal. It's a lot of work, um, but I am uh, about $9,000 away from my $2 million in sales milestone. So this, that's why I'm doing it next week. I'm hoping you guys can help me push over that um, threshold so I can hit that milestone before the end of July. But anyway, it's a win-win because you're gonna get a lot of free stuff and uh, I get to clean out my retired stuff that I can't use anymore. A lot of it is brand new, unopened. Um, then some of it is used, but it's all in good condition and all has lots of life left to it. Um, I just can't use it once it's retired because I don't want to show you guys things that you can't sell. I mean, that you can't buy. So if I was to make a super cute project and it was with retired product, then you'd be like, hey, why can't I buy that? So that's why I always get rid of everything that's retired. Okay, so I will on Monday, I will go live. Actually, I'll send an email on Monday with a specific details about the BOGO sale. Then Tuesday morning, I'll go live. I'll kind of walk you through everything that I have. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna show you every specific thing that I have, but I'll just kind of show you all the boxes. I'll explain it all. And then the albums will post about 9.30 a.m. Central on Tuesday morning, okay? Lots of you have shopped this sale with me before or you've shopped some other demonstrators. We all do it a little differently. Um, so make sure that you read the instructions. Um, but it's a great time to get free stuff. Okay, so that's next week. Um, Club Create for August is Christmas. Man, I'm just moving right through the holidays, aren't I? It is July. And by the way, um, last summer, we were the hottest summer on record. Here, now I know it's not the same for all of you, but here down in South Texas, where really it's the surface of the sun in the summer, <laughs> we've had a pretty nice summer. So I'm like, okay, all right. Maybe I can do Christmas and, and uh, Halloween in October. <laughs> but anyway, this is actually, I mean in August. This is actually August's Club Create Kit. Club Create is a subscription kit, my subscription kit. Um, it's $45 a month. Uh, this month actually has six projects. You'll get about $25 in product, and that includes shipping, a video, a PDF, 
And if you stay for six months, you'll get an additional $25 in product credit to spend however you want. Trisha, I'm glad you liked the little gift. I was worried about you guys getting like understanding what it is because if you've never seen one then you might not know what it is but I, but I I think you gotta figure it out I will share with you this was our four-year anniversary for Club Create so I sent everybody a gift in July with their kit um, and funny enough the story with that is that my friend Angie Judah you guys know Angie over at Chicken Scratch years ago maybe like 10 years ago she gave me one of those I'm not gonna tell you what it is she gave me one of those um, when we were at an event together and it has lived in my purse for like 10 years. I love it so much. It comes in very handy. So when I saw them, um, I knew that that would make a fun gift. So anyway, I will share it with you in a couple weeks. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but, um, everybody who was, who subscribed in July got a special gift from me. All right. So the subscription for your Christmas card kit, seasons of green and gold is, uh, for August, the deadline to register or to subscribe is August 7th. So you got, so you got some time. Um, my kits come like this. Again, you get full product in there to use on your projects and then to use on other things. And um, they have come in these really cool little plastic envelopes that really we've all been enjoying. Um, <laughs> Angelique, you weren't sure what it was. Uh, see, I had a feeling like, cause I, cause when, I don't know when I, if I had just looked at it, I might not have known what it was, but hopefully you figured it out. I gave you a little hint, I think in the note, right? Or in the email. Anyway, anyway, I'll share it with you guys in a couple weeks. Okay. So that is that. Now, last week, someone asked me about the market goodness class to go. I had said in June that my next class to go would be the market goodness class to go. And then time just was like on a, it's going super fast and I didn't get it done. And then I got, I had to get ready for BOGO sales. So I pushed this class to August. Um, this is my August class to go. Mark goodness. You're going to have five cards and guess what? I've done another mini album and this time it's a recipe mini album. Um, kind of like a gift album that you can give someone, um, with recipes and I love it. This will be part of the class. Um, I think you'll love it too. I love mini albums. I love them. Um, and this would make a fun gift. So anyway, be on the lookout. This, I will not publish this until the last week of July. So not next week. I got to get through my BOGO sale and then we'll focus on this and I'll have it up for registration. Okay. So that is that. It is cute, Lisa. This, this paper and, uh, you know, the paper and the dies and the stamp. I mean, it's, it's a lot of really cute. It should be called market cuteness because it's so cute. So anyway, on the way, it'll be um, available week after next for you to register, okay? Okay, so Facebook Friday, that is where we are right now. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, I always pick a product and then do like three projects with it. So this week we're doing potions and spells. If you go to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Oh, my friend Angela. Hi. Miss you too, friend. Um, if you go to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll find this free PDF there for you. Did you guys check my blog? Is Trisha here? Is my blog post up? Trisha, thank you. You said it before I even asked. Thank you, Trisha. Um, on my blog today, I have the three projects. I have the free PDF down below the third picture. And underneath each picture also is a link to a YouTube recording of the project in case you get tired of my talking and you just or like get to the projects, Erica. You can always just go and watch those. Um, so that is Facebook Friday. Also, if you like the projects and who was it last week sent me an email who said, because I always say they're, I call them make and takes because usually when you go to a class, that's what you call them because you make them and you take them. But here we're not getting together and making them and taking them. So someone suggested to me they should be called spend and send. So, I mean, whatever you call them, they're project kits. They're the three projects we're gonna do today. And uh, they look like this. I don't send any stamped images. You have to do all your own stamping. That's a Stampin' Up rule. Um, plus that's a fun part. But I will send you everything that you need to make your kit or your projects, embellishments, paper, um, die cuts, you will, the only thing that you'll need to make them is the potions and spells bundle. So you'll need the stamps and the dies. Um, other than that, I will send you everything else. And I always send you a little thank you tag as well. 
All right, and the other part of Facebook Friday is that I give away prizes. So last week I picked Sally Millions. Sally, I don't know how to say her last name, but you know who you are. She shared my video over on YouTube. Sally, thank you. Sally, I feel like I have your mailing address, but if you'll please email me and let me know so that I can send this to you. Green, um, Golden Greenery, it's a brand new online exclusive bundle. Thanks for sharing my video, Sally. I do appreciate it. Um, this one, this week, I'm actually giving away a class to go with the stamps and dies. So this is my beach day class um, with a kit. All right, this was actually Club Create kit in May, maybe? Um, so you're gonna get the class, or the kit, the Club Create kit and the stamps and the dies. So all you have to do to get this prize is share the video either on Facebook or YouTube please put in the comments that you shared because I don't always see that you've shared. Um, if we're not Facebook friends, it doesn't show up. So you have to let me know that you shared in the comments. Okay, we are ready to go. Let me grab my first tray. And let me tell you guys, I asked you guys about doing Halloween projects and pretty much 95% of you were like, yes, let's do it. And my mom sent me a picture from Hobby Lobby today that the entire front was covered in cute orange and green and purple uh, scarecrows, right? Ready for fall. And I know like summer's just halfway over and we don't wanna rush it, but hear, hear me out. This is an online exclusive, you guys. And that means that it's only available for a limited time. We don't know how long, we don't know when it'll sell out, we don't know if it sells out if it'll come back. The online exclusives are very vague, we don't know. You know, the catalog, we know that when it's gonna end, but with online exclusives, we don't know that. So I wanted to get these in, I didn't wanna wait, um, and so you guys gave me permission last week, <laughs> and that's what we're doing. I wanna show you also real quick, let's go to the website, hopefully you guys can see. Um, I explained last week, let's go, like when you sign in, to, or when you log, open up the Stampin' Up! website, I explained last week that there are some things on here that um, are exclusive to Close to My Heart customers. Stampin' Up! acquired many of the Close to My Heart makers, and so they're, they brought some of their product with them, and only their customers can order them. So right now, there's a lot of that on the website, and it can be frustrating if you're scrolling through, and you're like, I can't buy that, I can't buy that, I can't buy that. So if you'll use this little, these three, three little lines right here, hopefully you guys can see that. And then you um, look for online exclusives, right here's a little icon. That'll bring up all the things that anybody can buy. It's called exclusive just because it's exclusively online, but you can order from here. So this is where you'll find all these online exclusives that I'm talking about. And there's potions and spells right there. You can also search up here. Um, also, when you get on, you'll see right there, there's a banner that you can click on for online exclusives. Um, remember, we've got all these shop, I, this is what I've been doing a lot lately, is clicking that shop products and then clicking on whatever, you know, like embellishments. Okay, let me see what embellishments I have that would go with this paper or whatever, and then I just scroll through. So, utilize that Stampin' Up! website, and, uh, if it disappears from the website, you guys, like if you go and look for it and it's not there, that means it's gone. If it says unavailable, that means it's out of stock, but it's coming back. Okay? So, bad news if you find, look for it and it's gone. <laughs> Believe me, it's bad news. I get, I get upset when that happens. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, and here's the other thing. Finding Halloween candy in July is near impossible, you guys, near impossible. But lucky for you, I have a little cabinet over here of old candy where I keep things just for this exact reason. Because I work way ahead and sometimes I need Halloween stuff and it's not Halloween. But we're not gonna use candy for this first one. I knew immediately when I saw the little cauldron and the little spells and the cat that this was like a witch set. And we needed these witch pens and there's different variations of the witch pens on Amazon but these are the ones that I went with they're actually pencils um, so I linked everything I'm using today is linked on my blog post so if you want to find it go click that link um, so we're just gonna make a little holder for it it's really easy it's not difficult at all um, I know a lot of times we need non-candy treats 
like at school when I was teaching, we were not allowed to do any kind of candy. It, no, nothing edible. So we had to come up with ideas of things that were not ed edible. Of course, to me, that takes all the fun out of Halloween, but whatever. You gotta follow the rules. They are cute. They're very cute. And there's some other ones there that you can you can find on Amazon. But this is, the measurements for this is for, is exactly for these pencils. Okay, now measurements are right here. Hopefully I have no typos. We'll find out here in a minute. Um, <laughs> you're gonna need a piece of basic black that's three by nine. And then a piece of pumpkin pie that is two and three fourths by nine and three fourths. And we're gonna score it four times. Four and a fourth, four and three fourths five and a fourth and five and three fourths. You guys, my eyes are like not working anymore. They've just decided to shut down. They're like, we cannot focus, put those glasses on all day, every day. <sighs> Very frustrating. Okay, now I've lost my pumpkin pie ink pad, of course. Let me see where it is. Is it on another tray? It probably is, hold please. Okay, here it is. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take these cute little bubble stamps and I'm just gonna stamp them. Whoa, that was not good. I'm trying to go too fast. I'm gonna stamp them all over this paper and I'm turning the paper so that the bubbles aren't all exactly the same, okay? And I'm using the small one and the big one. And we're just gonna go like this. Okay, there we go. Oh, now I gotta, see, I put that too close, so let's do that. Okay, so now that you've done that, we're gonna make this into like a U shape. So you're gonna fold it back, and then forward, forward, and back. All right, so basically, that's the shape you want right there. Okay, um, so make those lines real crisp, and then, grab a hole punch and this is just your standard hole punch so like you know in your desk drawer that you have take it and put a hole right in the middle of that first section and then i want to make sure that i get it lined up with that other section so i'm going to take my well i could use my witch pen couldn't i and i'm just going to put like a dot there so that i know where to where to punch it so then on the third section I'm gonna do that right there. Oh, it's a little crooked. I didn't make my I didn't make my hole very good. That's all right. It'll still work. Okay, now do I have adhesive? You're gonna put adhesive on those larger sections like that, and start up here and just kind of center it. You've got a quarter inch border all the way around, and then push this one down like that and adhere it, and now hopefully you can see that U shape. You guys see that? I'm trying to see. Anyway, you're just making like a little bump out for your pencil. Now, if you, you have to take the lid off to get it through that hole because it's a pretty tight fit, but we want it to be a tight fit because we don't want the pencil to fall out. All right, so slide it in and then put that lid back on there. I don't know why it has a lid. I guess to protect you from being poked by the pencil. All right, and there you go, there's the holder. Super easy. All right, so now let's do the fun part. We're gonna stamp, and I've already done some cutting ahead of time. You guys know, I like to do some of this ahead of time. I'm using a lot of our glimmer paper. Um, we've got this Highland Heather colored glimmer that I cut out the little drips for the cauldron and some of the bubbles. So let me get all of those. And here's some more bubbles. And then I've cut two bottles. One is, or two, both of them are white. And then there's these, these little shapes that are the fill-in or the liquid for your bottle. So I cut one in Gorgeous Grape and one in Old Olive Glimmer Paper. All right, so glue those on. By the way, I want you guys to look at these dies. Let me pull them up over here. There's a shape in here that's super weird and you might not know what it is. It's this one right here. It's weird looking, but what it is is to be like a liquid, like pouring into your, into your bottle like that. So if you look on the Stampin' Up! website, their sample actually shows it being used. So just an FYI, 
All right, so we're gonna stamp. Do I have stamps? I do, we need to stamp the cat. I think the cat is the only thing we're gonna stamp for this one. And the cat is super cute. I don't know if Addie's watching today, but Addie wants a cat so bad. She is spamming me with cute cat videos. She will not let up. She will not let up. And um, the fun, the thing is about, about that is that she's highly allergic to cats. Highly. When she had her allergy test, the circle on her back that was the largest was cats. But then, of course, the dermatologist was like, well, I mean, not the dermatologist. Yeah, it was a dermatologist. No, what did we? We didn't go to dermatologist. We went to a asthma allergy doctor. He was like, oh, you know, you might get used to a cat. I was like, friend, do not tell her that. So now she is on a quest to convince us to get a cat. Do you guys have cats? Are you guys allergic to cats? Now, I know people who have cats that are allergic to cats. But honestly, I don't want the hair. I don't want the cat hair. You guys, I have to tell you something sad. And I just, I just remembered it as I'm talking about the cat. Our old guy, Mac, we lost him this week. And I am, you know, he was such a good, he was such a good dog, but he just had gotten to a point where he was having, you know, some issues. And I took him to the vet and he had a huge seizure in the car and it was awful and traumatic and, um, I thought I had lost him in the car and it was just horrible. So we've been dealing with that, but now that also Addie says we need a cat now because you know, we don't have Mac. <laughs> I'm like, no, I did tell her I would consider it when we have only one dog, but we still have two dogs. We still have two dogs. Losing a pet is so hard. Mac was 14. He lived a great life. He was a great dog. But it doesn't make it any easier, does it? It doesn't make it any easier. And every time I think about it, I just feel like guilty. And I, you know, I know it was his time. But man, that is rough. Whew. Still, just, I can still see him in the back of the car. And mm, uh, uh. anyhow, that was our week. It was, it's been, it's been rough. Okay, let me get the cauldron stamp. Where did it go? You know, that's the thing you, you have to take into consideration when you have a pet, is that someday they'll leave, and it's awful. You know, you don't, you don't want to think about it, but it's part of it. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We're okay. You know, it's not like he was young, and he shouldn't have gone, and, you know, none of that, but it doesn't make it any easier. Okay, I'm going to stamp this cauldron, shifting gears, changing topics. I'm, sh I'm stamping the cauldron on basic black, and I'm going to emboss it with black embossing powder. Do you guys ever use black embossing powder? So it's black on black, and it's going to look pretty cool. Now you can see it. I use the embossing buddy, and I'm using the uh, embossing tray. They come as a kit with reverse tweezers and a paintbrush. So if you are an embosser or you're new and you want to emboss, you should look that up online. It's called the Embossing Editions Kit. I think I forgot to put it on the on the supply list, of course. I always forget something, don't I? All right, we're gonna heat it up. You'll know it's ready when it's nice and shiny. I can see I have a few specks of white <laughs> embossing powder. It must have been in my tray, which is funny because I actually washed the tray with water and soap, soap and water before I used it. I didn't get them all. That's all right. Can you guys see the white specks? <laughs> Looks like sparkles. Maybe it's a sparkly, it's a, a sparkly uh, witch's cauldron. All right, we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna cut it out. And where are my guys? Right here. And we've got the cat. Oh, 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 you know what? I forgot. Don't do this. I forgot this last time. That little um, handle in the middle. Don't forget it. Okay. There we go. All right. Here 
right, so we're gonna line that up. And then where's my cat? Let's get the cat. You know, I'm gonna use some adhesive, some post-it tape on here, because really there's nothing worse than coloring something, which by the way, I didn't tell you, I use smoky slate on him instead of basic black, because basic black is too dark and you'll lose all those details. Smoky slate and light pumpkin pie for his eyes. Um, there's nothing worse than coloring something and then running it through and the dye slipping, and then you have to do it over again. Ugh, ask me how I know. How many times? Many times. So post to tape for things that have colored. There's our cauldron. There's our kitty cat. So I didn't look, I asked you, hey Lisa, um, I um, asked you guys about the cats and what did you tell me? I have to I have to go back. Um, you have t a 10 week old kitten. See, cats are so cute. Um, I had a cat, one cat when I was a kid and his name was Mickey. And he, I remember him being nice, but mom, my mom says he was not. She, it was a she. Um, but that's the thing with cats, you know, you could get a cat that's like really mean and you're not gonna know when you get a kitten. But they're so funny and man, Instagram has so many cute cat videos that makes you want a cat. Addie, I mean, Addie, she will not, she will not give up. She wants a cat so bad. Dogs have masters, but cats have staff. Karen, that is so funny. That is so funny. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Um, they're just, they're just snooty cats, you know? They just, they're the boss. And then dogs are like, you know, I mean, and I know not all dogs, but most dogs are like cute and they want to snuggle and they listen to you and, you know, do what you tell them to do. But cats are like, lady, you're not the boss of me. Um, this is a Granny Apple Green Spotlight on Nature Circle. The Spotlight on Nature dies are my new go-to. I feel like I'm using them on every single project. If you haven't gotten them yet, you really should. They're circles, but they're different circles. They all have these different borders around the edges. I really like the ones that have the like little, not where it's die cut, but it's embossed and it's just little like stripes around the edges. Um, it's really cute. It's my favorite. I wish we had a whole set of all different sizes of those. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's do our cat, our kitty cat. Thanks, Lisa. Dogs drool, cats rule. <laughs> what was that movie, Jean? Remember that? There was a movie. What was it? Was it was it called Dogs and Cats or Cats and Dogs? Something like that. I remember that. Okay, have I lost my two bottles? It looks like I've lost one of them. It's probably stuck to my shirt or something. The bottom of my cut and emboss machine. No, I don't see it. You guys probably see it and are like, it's right there, where did it go? Well, maybe we're just gonna have one bottle. Don't you hate it when I lose something and you guys are like, oh my gosh, again? She lost something again? Yes, I did, it's gone. Let's see, is it on the floor? No, okay, maybe it's on the bottom of the tray, let's see. Aha, I found it. It was on the bottom of the embossing tray. All right, um, now we're gonna use the dimensionals. Have your stores gotten Halloween candy yet? I saw somebody post on Facebook that their store had Halloween candy. Mine have not. But I, I have seen a few pumpkin spice scented things, you know, like candles and stuff. It gets earlier and earlier every year, doesn't it? It really does. Okay, we're gonna just take this and put this right there on that raised area and then all you gotta do is um, get your your glitter bubbles, and they have this little cutout so that it's like a shine image, you know, like the shine of the bubble. So you gotta poke those out too. There we go. All right, and then I'm just gonna put a few like around. These would make really great classroom treats. Sa uh, Sandy, are you here? She always makes classroom treats for her kid, her grandkids classes. This would make a great, fun, non-candy treat. 
if you can't do candy. I do have candy in the next two, so if you're like me and you're like, not candy, then don't worry. Don't worry. All right, there we go. A non-candy Halloween treat. What do you guys think? Isn't it cute? The cat and the cauldron is just all so cute. Ruth says Costco had Halloween candy. I'm going to Sam's tomorrow, Ruth. Let's see if Sam's has it. Lisa, you have a cat that's 10. Oh, you're going to be gutted when he passes. I know. I'm telling you. My mom actually was with me. She, I called her on the way to the vet. And uh, I said, Mom, something, something very bad is happening in the back. Please meet me at the vet. She was on the way home from the grocery store, and she met me. And she was crying. I was crying. It's just awful. It just, I mean, it's a family member, you know? And Addie has never known life without Mac. You know, he came when she was like 18 months. So, whew, maybe even younger than that. I mean, she, she really took it hard. All right. Anyhow, there you go. First treat. What do you guys think? Cute? Yes. I wish we had little pumpkin emojis that you guys, I mean, not, you know, like where you can just do the heart or whatever. Wouldn't it be funny if they had a pumpkin? Um, thank you. Yes, uh, Stacey, this is one of the better Halloween sets they have had in a while. I agree. I like the cutesy Halloween stuff. Not the scary. Cutesy. I'm all on board for cutesy. Okay, let me make some... Oh, I forgot the bow. You guys didn't tell me. I forgot the bow. The bow is the best part. Anytime I get to use my black and vanilla large check ribbon, I'm happy. We need, we need this ribbon in different colors. Wouldn't that be cute? Like red and pink would be cute for Valentine's. Um, a blue and white. Oh my gosh. A blue and white would be super cute. Yellow and white. Red and white. Come on, Stampin' Up. Bring us some more gingham ribbon. Okay, there we go. Now he's good. Okay, let me move all of this out of the way and get my next tray. Okie Now this one, this is the one that you're probably thinking, yeah, I knew she was going to do that. Turn that cauldron into a little box. Easy peasy. All right, see how cute? Now what's inside my bag are chocolate covered sunflower seeds. Have you guys had these before? They're delicious. And you find them like at Joanne Fabrics or TJ Maxx. Um, I linked them on Amazon. You can get them on Amazon too. It comes in like a big box. So you're going to need um, also, where did I put them? I just had them in my hand. These three, what did I say? Three by 11 cello bags, also from Amazon. Three by 11. These are the ones we use for the nugget holders that we made a couple of years ago. The Yeti nugget holders, if you remember. So three by 11, and then we're just going to cut it off. You fill it to only about like, like that much, maybe like three inches, and then you tie it with your um, petunia pop ribbon, and you just cut it off, okay? Unless you have some smaller bags. Maybe they come three by six. That would probably be a little bit better. All right, let's do our stamping first. We're going to color, and we get all my blends. All my blends. Oh my gosh, you guys, we found another scorpion last night in our room. This time in the bathroom, but still close to my bed. What am I going to do? You guys, what am I going to do? I cannot get rid of the scorpions in my room. The bug guy was just here. Again. I mean, am I just destined to live with scorpions in my room? That does not seem reasonable. Ugh. And now, when I get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, I'm going to be terrified. I'm going to step on one. It's not cool, you guys. Okay. Um, what I've done is I've stamped these three in memento black on basic white. Here's the deal. There are dyes in this set to cut everything out except the bubbles. <laughs> I mean, come on. There's, you're going to have to fussy cut. This, this one thing you have to fussy cut. If you don't want to do that, then do the little drips instead, okay? But I really wanted to use the bubbles. So we're gonna color the bubbles Highland Heather. Um, yeah, so Angelique, we found two in our bed, and now this is a third one on the floor. In the last, I don't know, month, 
We've had a lot of rain, more rain than normally we do. So I'm like, is that it? I mean, I can't expect it to not rain. Oh, I just, I just did exactly what I was gonna tell you not to do. There's these little shine marks on these bubbles. Color carefully so you can leave those little shine marks white. Um, my mom Googled it and because then my mom says to me, oh, there must be a scorpion nest somewhere near your room. And I'm like, excuse me, is that a thing? A nest of scorpions? Oh my gosh, no. But then she Googled them and they live in, you know, where you think in the eaves of a wood pile, the attic. I mean, I have a wood pile in the backyard. Well, not me. My husband has a wood pile in the backyard. Uh, we have attic space above our bed, bedroom. The the vent is not above our bed. I know some of you are gonna say, is the vent above your bed? It's not. I don't know. I don't know what to do, but it's not gonna end well. I can tell you that. Something's gonna happen and one of us is gonna get stung. The last time my husband got stung by a scorpion, he his mouth, the inside of his mouth was numb for the whole day, like Novocaine, like he's been to the dentist. And he was bit on the thigh. He wasn't even bit anywhere near his mouth. Isn't that weird? It's the worst burn. I mean, it's the worst pain. It feels like a cigarette burn if you've ever had a cigarette burn. Um, the sockets, Lisa, that's interesting. So our house is on a slope like this. And so over here on this corner, we have a 12 foot foundation and that's our bedroom. So are those scorpions climbing up that 12 foot wall to get in. Peggy Mary says, get a new pest control. Well, you know, I'm wondering the last time he was out here, which was, it was either last week or the week before. I said, look, look friend, I've had two scorpions in my bed. And I said, I think you need a treat again. And he pulled up his little, his little phone. And he says, oh yeah, the, the, um, the stuff I used last time wasn't strong enough for scorpions. And I wanted to just like slap him. I mean, I'm like, friend, dude, bro, do you see where I live? This is like scorpion central out here. So he used the stronger stuff that day, but obviously it didn't make a difference. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I, I guess I need to call them and tell them, come back out again. And then after that, I mean, am I being unrealistic? Should I, should I just not have scorpions? If I'm paying an ex, a quarterly service, bug service, that there should be no scorpions. I mean, in my other house, we had one scorpion in 12 years. And it was the day after we moved in. And never had another one again. Same company. I don't know. Okay, so what I've done is, again, Smoky Slate, pumpkin pie. On his legs, they're really, really skinny, and I went too fast. You should really just take the tip of your marker and just go tap, 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 tap that color in there so that it doesn't bleed out. Um, Beta says, I wonder if cats would kill scorpions. It's funny you say that because that was the angle my daughter took this last week. Mom, if we get a cat, then, then he'll get all the snakes. You know, she really wants a snake. I mean, <laughs> no, she really wants a cat. And I said, yeah, but also cats will bring snakes inside. That happens too. They'll bring them in to show you and play with them in your house. But yeah, that is that is that is something. Lynn says if you're paying for the service, you shouldn't ha be having any. That's what I think. That's what I think. Lisa says the same thing. Call them and watch what they do. One time I caught them not even spraying. Oh my gosh. Yep, you all agree. Okay, as soon as we're done, I'm calling them. I am calling them. Okay, so now for the books, I've done Highland Heather on the top. We don't have gorgeous grape marker. I don't know why we don't have gorgeous grape marker. We have Highland Heather. So that's the closest thing. So I'm going to do the dark color on the spines here. So pumpkin pie for this one. And then I'm going to take the dark and just like go along the edge where the spine is of the book. You probably can't see what I'm doing. Um, and then color in the middle like that with the light. 
okay? And then the other color we're gonna use is, you know what, I colored the Bubbles Highland Heather and they're supposed to be Lemon Lime Twist. Oh well, it's a different potion today. This witch has a different ingredient list. Her potion is purple. All right, we're gonna, we'll use on the next one, I used purple, so maybe we'll use green on the next one. All right, and then Daffodil Delight. Okay, you guys have given me the, the encouragement. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna call it. I hate making phone calls, like I hate making phone calls. <laughs> So I put it off and put it off and put it off. I need to schedule a doctor's appointment for my girls too. And I keep putting it off. I mean, it's something so simple. Are any of you like that? Do you hate making phone calls? I hate it. Okay, so we're gonna do those. We're gonna have to fussy cut these bubbles. And I was too busy talking to tell you not to color all the bubbles, which is what I did. Cause we're only gonna cut, we're only gonna cut out these. All these other ones up here, you don't need to color those. No need. Um, okay, before we do that, let's do our cauldron as well. This time, we're gonna stamp it in basic gray. And you're gonna need two cauldrons, but I'm only gonna stamp it once. The one in the back, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything with. I'm just gonna have it, you know, just be the shape. Um, the other thing you can do here is take your smoky slate dark and go around like this. The artist has drawn these little, I don't know, these little sketch marks, right? And that's gonna give you an indication of where the shading is. So take your dark, smoky slate. Now it, it looks like really dark right now, but don't worry, it's gonna fade a lot. And then put some shadow there, okay? And then you can take the light, and the light smoky slate really doesn't show up at all, but it'll help you kind of blend all that out so that you don't have any like hard lines. I know you're like, what are you doing? That looks weird, but I promise it's gonna all just kind of blend and be really light. Okay, it looks bad. Give it a minute. Can you see on here? See how it's just very light? Okay, all right, let's bring this over. Let's do our die cutting. It's always scorpion and snake talk here at Facebook Friday. Some of you are like, I'm gonna have to unsubscribe because I do not like talking about those things. It's been a week around here, let me tell you, it's been a week. We went and saw the Minion movie <laughs> last weekend and it was cute. My teenagers wanted to see the Minion movie, so we went. I highly recommend it. If you've not seen the Minion movies, if you have grandkids or kids, they're very cute, funny, a lot of, you know, adult, not, not adult specific humor, but you'll think it's funny. Okay, so there's that. I want to see the movie I've been waiting for all summer is coming out. You guys know what it is. It's Twister. Anything weather related is my favorite. So Twisters comes out today. But we have a basketball tournament this weekend. Bleh. So I may not get to see it this weekend. Going to the movies is my favorite. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. Okay, we've got all of our pieces. The other thing we're gonna do here is cut out our bubbles. Uh, your kids can't stand the minions, Lisa, really? Apparently, it's like a thing too. They, they get all dressed up. The teenagers do. They wear like tuxedos to see the minions. I remember this from the last one. I don't know, it's a thing. Okay, now stay on the outside edge. You guys know, you know what, my, what I always say, stay on the outside edge, go around and around, just barely on the outside edge of that black, that black line, okay? There's our bubbles, our bubbling cauldron. <clears throat> um, adhesive right here and I'm just gonna take that and glue it behind like that okay all right now you need the box part so let me get this piece of basic gray and this is one of those things that you're not really gonna see it's gonna be hidden 
so don't worry about it if it's not perfect. This is four by four. Let me look at my notes. On one side, we're gonna score it at one and a half, and, yep, I have a typo. Two and a half, that should say two and a half. I'll change it on the PDF, but if you've already printed it, you need to change it. One and a half and two and a half. And then one and three, okay? And then just burnish those lines. Uh, yes, Teresa, we, I love the original Helen Hunt was so good. You're right. That's one of my all time favorite movies. And when I said that recently in front of my sister-in-law, she like laughed at me. She said, that's the dumbest, cheesiest movie. We make fun of it all the time. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, it's one of my favorites. So whatever. Um, cut the score lines between this little one inch section like this. And there you have it take your adhesive and I'm going to use liquid glue because it is so humid here and I'm going to put adhesive there on those middle tabs fold them up into one of the sides and then put adhesive on this side fold it up and give it a little hug wrap it around and there's your box okay now we're gonna take that and let's set it down in here in our, just our blank, a little blank cauldron. If you wanna stamp it on the back, you can. And then we're gonna put this one here. You need to make sure, <coughs> excuse me, I've had this tickle in my throat, um, between this point and this point right here, okay? They need to go in between those two points. Then put this one on here and then I like to just kind of set it down and make sure it's not like wobbly or uneven. Okay. All right. Now a few more dimensionals for our little potions and spells recipe books. See how that gray just really kind of lightened up and just gave you a shadow. And then the bird. And this time I am stamping Happy Halloween. The last time, the last project, that banner was from Hearts and Hugs. This time we are using the little label from Happy Little Things. Happy Little Things dies. All right. And let's use this long and skinny dimensional right here. And I'm going to put it over here like this. And I'm gonna put that across like that. Okay, see how that is? And then just get your bag of candy and put it in and there you go. All right, so one is green and one is purple. Lemon Lime Twist is the original. Highland Heather is the one that we did. All right, you guys, bye Mandy. Um, you like the purple bubbles equally as the green, Gail? Okay, good. I, Yeah, when I'm looking at it, too, I do, too. I think I might even like the purple better. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Brandy. Oh, good. I'm glad you like them. Um, not cheesy at all. Thank you, Patricia. Twisters. I, Twister was not cheesy. Scared the you-know-what out of me. I have a recurring nightmare my whole life of tornadoes. Um, I have seen two tornadoes in my life. One was really, really big when I was driving back to college in 1998, no, 1997. Um, and then the other one was very small, but it was in my backyard, above my backyard when I was growing up. So I just have like this fear, but also fascination of, uh, tornadoes. We don't really have them here that much. You know, we're not like our friends up north, but we do have them on occasion. Usually they are, if they're here in San Antonio, they are usually attached to a, like a hurricane that's come through, you know, some kind of hurricane. All right, there we go. Third project. Let me get everything just cleaned up, close up my ink pads, and we will get to our last project. This one's probably the easiest one of the three. 
We're gonna make a Jelly Belly candy corn slider. Jelly Belly candy corns. Now, if you don't like candy corns, you might wanna try these. Jelly Belly really knows how to do it. I love Jelly Belly jelly beans. And uh, these are quite, I mean, they're quite good. They are, I know, let's not, let's not get into the debate. I know, some of you hate candy corn. It's all right, you're allowed to. You're allowed to be wrong. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Anyway, again, from Amazon, check the link on my blog, you'll find it. But um, it just slides in and out. Really, really easy, okay? And we're just gonna do the cauldron and the broom this time. And I'm gonna show you a new set of dies that I don't think we've used yet. All right, you're gonna need a piece of pumpkin pie that is four and a half by 11. Unfortunately, if you do four and a fourth, those, and you do quarter inch scoring, it makes it kind of hard. So I did half an inch. So only one of these, you can only get one of these out of a eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. Um, on the long side, score it at five and a half. And on the short side, score it at half an inch and four inches. So if you wanted to get two out of a one piece, you would do four and a fourth, and you would shrink your, your sides here to, instead of half an inch, you would make them a quarter inch. But like I said, that is kind of hard. I, I thought it wasn't enough cardstock to really grip. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is basically just fold these in and make like a pocket, okay? And this, what we're doing here like this gives you, I feel like it gives you a little more room. If you just did it without the tabs and, and adhered it like this, I feel like you wouldn't have enough room. So fold those side tabs in and get your tear and tape, your Fast Fuse Plus, your liquid glue, whatever you wanna use and Put that on one side and then do, 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 right here get your take your pick tool next week guys I have the sled the sled set Sophist what's it called sophisticated sled is that what it's called that doesn't seem right it's another online exclusive Halloween Christmas I mean come on winter all right and then just fold it in half Okay, line up those edges before you squeeze it together. So we'll do that. And then after that, I'm not sure. I think we'll probably go back to the annual catalog. All right. So now you just have this pocket. We have got to put on our designer series paper. It's hiding right here. This is flowering zinnias. <laughs> of course, flowering zinnias for Halloween. I really, really love this flowering zinnias paper because of these uh, flip sides. They're monochromatic and you can use them for a lot of things. Like we used them for our Club Create Beach cards, the, the flip sides. Okay, so now you gotta put a hole in this and, and I'm just using a half inch circle punch. We don't sell these anymore. Look in your circle punches or your circle dies and see what you have that's about that. I mean, it can be a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. Punch one in the front, then hold, close it, hold that down and Oh, punch through so that you have that one in the back. And then we're gonna use our peach pie ribbon. Fold it through those, slide it through those holes and then just take your candy corn and slide it through. And Tie your bow. All right, so now it just will slide in and out like that. Okay. All right, let's do our cauldron. This time we're gonna emboss again. We're gonna use Versamark and black embossing powder. Let's see if we get any sparkles this time. Versamark, basic gray. Whoa, I did that really close to the edge. Basic gray. Oh, I didn't use my embossing buddy. Hopefully it will be all right. Yes, perfect. Okay, oh, I almost spilled that. 
get your heat tool and hit it. Sophisticated sled, you guys like that one? Good, yeah, it's a good one. It is a good one. Let's see, what did I miss up here? No tornadoes or scorpions in Oregon. I know, I know, but you have, what do you have in Oregon? Every state has something, right? It can't be the perfect, hey, you guys have earthquakes up there, don't you? We don't have earthquakes here. Knock on wood. We didn't feel any earthquakes when we were in California. I was kind of hoping we would. Just what I can say, I have felt a, an earthquake. Mostly what we have down here is drought. <laughs> Mostly drought. Every now and then we have some rain bombs on occasion, but mostly it's just drought, hot and dry. We don't really get very many seasonal type, you know, I mean, it does cool off in the winter, but rarely do we have snow. But when we do have snow, it shuts the whole state down for a week. <laughs> I mean, it's a crazy place to live down here. It's a crazy place. Okay, now I have cut out a, look, oh, this is the one I was talking about. This is the circle from the Spotlight and Nature dies that I like so much. There's a big one, a medium one, and a small one. It's got those little like radiating stitches uh, going out. Did I put the bubbles away on the other tray? I did. So let's do the bubbles. And I'm gonna do it towards the top like that. I think I'm going to stick with purple because I want it to match the tag. Highland Heather again. And we'll just color that in. I am in a Facebook group that is TJ Maxx finds, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, find. Like people post what they find. And do not join that group. It is, it is dangerous. But they've all been getting their Halloween stuff in and there are these little ghost things that everybody wants and they're driving all around trying to find them. I don't know if I could buy Halloween decorations this early. That's pretty early. Pretty early. Let's see. I was in Dallas for Ice Weekend 2013. Trisha, were you really? Yeah, yeah, that's what we call it. The one that we had in 2020, we call Snowmageddon. We had no electricity and no water for five days. Fun times. Fun times. My husband has one of those blow, I call it a blow torch, like a fire starter that like, you know, like does fire. He was out there on our brick wall trying to melt our pipes that were frozen. I mean, you know really crazy things really really crazy things i do not recommend that i was terrified he's gonna burn the house down leave it to my husband to do something crazy like that he should take that thing over to the wood pile maybe he'll get rid of my scorpions <sighs> okay <laughs> dimensionals on our cauldron we've got the broom here just die cut broom i'm gonna take um a mini glue dot, put it right there on the top of that. This is pecan pie and crumb cake, okay? And we will put this on with some dimensionals. Our tax-free, Texas tax-free weekend is the last one on that list. Man, and I am in desperate need of some adhesive but I'm gonna wait. I want to take advantage of that tax-free adhesive. A little hocus pocus. Okay, do you see this cute little tag here? This is from a new set called Greetings of the Season. It's, guess what, an online exclusive again, but look at them. I really like this one. They're tags, I have a little hole. Um, really fun shapes. And these will be great at Christmas when you just need to make some fast and quick um, tags. We are using these on our Club Create kit. 
um, this in August. All right, this one is Highland Heather. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna try to tie my bow through there. I'm just gonna put that on with a dimensional and then get my um, linen thread and make a really little bow. Because we already have one bow. We don't need another big bow. And put that right there. And then we're just gonna put that on there with dimensionals. So this is an easy one. Not a ton of coloring. And not a lot of work. And there you go. What do you guys think of that one? I like purple. I like the Highland Heather and the pumpkin pie combo for sure. All right. Well, that is it, you guys. Let's look at what we made. And then I'm going to show you my two bonus projects. Here is our... I really used the pumpkin pie this week. Here is our non-candy and our candy corn and then our cauldron box. If you like these and you want me to send you a make and take kit or spend and send kit, here's the host code. I'll send them free with an order of $35 or more between now and Monday at midnight. If you don't use that host code, I think you don't want the projects. Um, the caveat to that is if your order is over $150, you'll earn those three bonus day coupons. Don't use the host code because Stampin' Up! is going to give you Stampin' Rewards. And I will still send you the projects automatically if your order is over 150 okay? Um, let me show you the bonuses. Here's yesterday's project. I used the bubbles from in the background from the Sim Simply Sparkling, you know, the little soda set soda can and there's that double double toil and trouble so cute there's the inside and then this will be on the blog on monday i got a little crazy with the water coloring made a little like bubbly background and i brought in this guy he's from the other halloween set that i can't remember the name of online exclusive but the details on that will be on my blog on monday Alrighty, well, that's it for me today. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, I will be live again Tuesday morning to give you all the details of my BOGO sale. It'll be going Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, I will send an email as well, so make sure you um, subscribe to my email list. All right, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks, everybody, so much. Bye.